Go ahead and buy today. So it sells. Let's do it. Is it for batteries or for inverters? I, I feel comfortable. Um, is, is, this, is this your word doc? Yeah. So that would be old news now, given everything. Yeah, solar cells. Yeah. But that's that's good. I mean, I think that's all we're buying. We're just buying a whole bunch of those dang things. I just thought it would be the most flexible. Um, but that's old news now. Should we, should we buy the kit, though, too? Because it looks like, I don't know if the thing we bought has all this other gadget tree with it. Tabs are right there in the wire rounds. Here. We have diodes, we have solder. In the in the in the lab. Flux pin. It's just the flux for the solder to weld the to weld the tabs on it. Yeah. This is also ML solar. Okay. Yeah, I have. I think I have that one. Online. Is that one of the ones that you put in here? I just kind of settled on one thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to kind of use as a. I looked at two different options. Should we, should we buy three of these things? I would buy one of them. What's the matter? Well, you're paying twenty-eight dollars for a charge controller that you're going to have to pay another. Well, the Arduino boards cost 160 bucks. Hmm? Oh, really? Uh, yeah, that those Arduinos. I mean, they are they're like they're a little ghetto. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but they're, it's going to bust. That that Arduino board is going to break. We we we've used it, and the wires are so wimpy and so skinny. I mean, they're they're fine for mocking something up. But you don't you don't you don't give someone an Arduino board and say here's your finished project. I mean we could we could we could um, we could do something like that in house. I'm I'm totally fine doing that. But um, I don't know. I thought um, the Arduino board that um, Reef hooked up well that was that that's probably as good as one of these if not better. Well, he did that for minimal dollar, and that was a 24-hour Arduino board. What I don't understand about those is when you get your code, you get your board and your connections, how do you run the code to the board without a computer? Oh, there's a little, um, there's a little programmable chip oh, on the board, and, it, and you, you upload it there, and it stores it. Problem is, you know, that the, the thing's memory dies, and then... Well, we need stuff. We need stuff to play with anyway. So let's um, let's just buy a couple of these. And again, this is just one example. I don't know if it's necessarily the right one. Sure. Well, you did a little shopping. What else? What else is around? I want to buy our. I want to buy our batteries from from McChain. So let's just let's just get him on the batteries. Oh, and here's your inverter. Okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mine's a 450 watt, 12 or 1,000 watt, I mean. Although an inverter is $14 if you want to put it together. Just buy the oscillator and the transformer. Oh, here's your camping light, too. Okay. That thing is just cheap and cool and like it puts up a ton of light. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Conductors, cables, okay, yep, okay, nice. Um, so let's do this, file, save as, 
uh, EPA uh, parts costs save, and I'm gonna I'm gonna um, doctor this a little bit. File save as EPA um, parts cost order. So um, I'm just I'm gonna I'm just gonna kill this for now because we just bought that sure. charge controller. Let's just say uh, please order uh, three of these. Well, you know what? We'll see when it gets here. Yeah. You just you just got to get in the lab and try it out. You just well, you don't know until you know until you until you. We will. Don't worry. I can't do two things at once. Uh, please order three of these. Pretty for sure I had one of that one specifically up on mine too. Sweet. Uh, we'll kill the battery for now. So we got we got plenty of that. What was the ratings on the battery? Yeah. It's only like 15 or 20 or We'll get, we'll get three of these, too. Oh, how, how many of these? Um, five to 20? Should we just, should we just get this, this, like, 20 of these guys? Oh, wait, there, there's seven. So there's seven bucks a piece. There's 7.75 a piece. The price goes down. Um, maybe we get five of these guys? Six? Let's get six. Two per. Let's just get six of them. We get three inverters, th three uh, charge controllers, and six lights. Okay. I just feel weird spending your money with such... It's not my money. It's, haste. it's, it's the... Uh, it's not haste. You guys did a lot of shopping. It's time to get going. <laughs> I mean. Well, it's just, I guess what he's saying is that the project period doesn't start until next August. So typically they would fund money and next August we would start buying materials. So right now we're just buying materials for a grant that's not there yet. Oh. That's all right. No, the, these are these are completely legitimate. I mean, if if they don't See, get you, that's, that's why I'm keeping my mouth shut. Is because I, I obviously know you know what you're doing. I just keep the dumb look on my face. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, these are these are completely legitimate pur purchases too for the electrician's helper tier that we've designed. Because the electrician's going to come put this together, and the helper's going to say, "Oh, what do you need? Oh, the LED, oh. which one, et cetera, et cetera." Perfectly valid. And um, our trailer that you guys were working on during the practicum, we're going to buy another one of those, and that's going to be our sort of traveling parts oh, kit. Trailer? And we, yeah, and we need we need to fill it up with parts. So here we go. Cool. Totally cool. Um, six of these at seven seventy five a piece.
Okay, we go. I don't know why I can't spell electrician for us today. Oh, um, no, I think it's good. I think what we get, uh, the power factor was the most most surprising to me. It's pulling um, 12, it's pulling 12, actually read, read it one more time if you could. I think it says 12 volt amps and 3 watts. Is that what you were seeing too? Most solar cells, obviously, you need a uh, plate to cover them. You need a plate behind them, right? Yeah. Mm Okay, so this is so this is on its way. File, save, close that. And Gary, you said you had some too. Yeah. Any, anything else of yours we need to look at, Adam? Oh, sweet. Where's that? Oh, we could look at that. Let's do it now. Um, guys, is this is this like a section I can put in, or does some, does, do one of you own the master document at this point what? of the narrative? Who, who's got the most recent version of the narrative? Me? Is it, is it my my? Because I, I took the whole thing and just posted it there. Yeah. But have you guys taken that taken ownership of that? No. no. Okay. Okay. It's, well, so I'll, I got the master version. I think that point is now. I don't know why this thing wants to be so particular. See, look, look how this is misbehaving. There's nothing there. The new version of Word is. is Good man. I don't You have a, you have a few things in here. Yeah, it's just it's sort of like some some theory, some more reasoning for why it applies to data find. Okay, yeah. Sorry, what? Um, oh, that's all. Awesome. Yeah, using laboratory measurement, manufacturer's nameplate data, and basic power equation, the following section helps determine the electrical configuration role of the solar night. I think it's the solar night we've adopted. <laughs> It also demonstrates both quantitative and qualitative of people, prosperity, and planet through renewable energy produced from control of the eruption. Nice. That, that sounds great. It, it reads um, really well. Is clean energy era, should that be capitalized? Is that something we need that, so, that someone's going to try to 
It's just okay. And if I could just repeat, yes, he could coin it in the fossil fuel era. Sometime we'll have to be in a clean energy era or a different energy era, or we'll just be breathing CO2 and nitrogen and have gills like. Oh my god. Does Aquaman actually have gills? I don't know, but the Aquaman that I just got a picture in my brain was not the Aquaman. The one from the cartoon, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aquaman can fly, too. I'm not sure if you realize that. You, well, you watch the old Super Friends, yeah. Aquaman is a 1970s pornographic. Oh, is that a terrible? <laughs> and Aquaman I missed that one. deep sea diving in something a little bit more than Seawater. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't. I, I guess there was a superheroes um, convention here or a little thing at the carousel. I was going to go. I was too busy. Okay, clean energy era. How the heck we got to Aquaman from that? I don't know. But um, all right. So we'll just. If it if it should be capitalized. I don't well, it shouldn't be quoted because I don't think I've ever okay. heard it. Yeah, let's, 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 let's do it. Let's do it. Well, if you put in quotes, it would be somebody else's and not his. Wouldn't it? Um, not necessarily. Fuller, you'd probably have to quote that because it was somewhere else. Levin's quote well, from somewhere else. I don't think he quoted it from somewhere else. I think he just... I think he just quoted it to, to mean that it's... Well, he said something... He didn't quote the fossil fuel era. Is it, this was, was this mine or was this the yours? fossil fuel era, he didn't quote, but he quoted Anthropocene era. Yeah, Anthropocene, yeah. Anthropocene. Mm-hmm. I wasn't sure if we should put this in or not. Gary asked me in another post to try to write some stuff that included the figures from yeah. weeks ago. That, I mean, I, I like the... I like the thought of this. I mean, I like the the graphic of this figure. We talked about the. We'll we'll do something around there. Let's let's just leave it for now. The following is a figure which demonstrates some of the theoretical energy produced in early application compared to the general accepted standard 1,000 watts per square meter available to us via. Okay, good, good. When fully open from its closed position, the panel for one solar night unit will co will consist of 32 solar cells each. With the following characteristics, uh, we can put it in the we can put it in the narrative. What I wanted to put in there was the drawing that we made. Oh yeah. I didn't post. It's, I think it's just sitting on my laptop. Yeah, so I was thinking that could go right there. Yeah. Okay. Because that's one of the things that's going to set it apart from everything else. Mm -hmm. Either folds open or comes apart and snaps together, mm -hmm. or just basically snaps onto the outer case. Because if you look at it, I was thinking the case would be something like what I've drawn up there. I mean, this is just some basic electrical yeah. theory that I thought they might want. It's great. It's, yeah, it's super. Yep. The, the numbers have not been edited, so they're kind of like, I think I even left some blank ones. Yeah, this is all right. Um, three, three amps of current. Okay, yeah. I've got my little spreadsheet here, and if we were at um, uh, 320 watts, uh, so you're looking at three. Yeah, but it's you know it's it's okay though. Um, three three amps times 12 volts. They're only going to 12 volts. Is, is 36 watts. How much? How much? How much were we pull in the, in the lab during that experiment? 45 watts. So we were going because we were at 20. Yeah. So so let's um, let's just say four amps because that's closer to what we were pulling through the four, phone cord. Let's just say we'll do four four amps. Um. So equals four, no, e equals, that's how many watt hours in the battery, divided by four, divided by 12. Well, that's rated for 35, 12 volt to 35 amp hours. What are, what are your, because you said you 
going to buy your batteries from someone else. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of on the low end. Uh, four, okay, so 420 watt hours divided by 4 divided by 12. Sounds about right. Um, so 8, 9 hours? That's pretty juicy. For, for 9 hours. Over... Nine hours. Nine hours. Yeah, I know. Some. You know, some, sometimes um, engineers do it like this. Nine hours. It also said that we got 12 pages, and it made um, it made reference that you know, the minimum bond is a 12-point bond. Oh, did it? It said minimum. Sure. But readability, some, if you don't have um, our 12 pages in our little thing, Sure. 12.5 yep. 13 to get it just a little bit bigger for readability. I love it. Are we really trying to have this paper done by Friday? Heck no. No, 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 no. He's farmed the paper out to us, so I don't know if you realize that or not. It's a student project. This is all gravy for you guys. Guys, ha having the, you know, this is a student project, and and uh, well, we're, we're working. It's a good, it's a good collaborative. This is one of the best collaborations I've had in a while. So, no, I'm I'm, I'm digging it. Uh, where does this go? I think uh, I kind of wanted to come. Probably, it's probably going to go before I get into all of that. But some of that stuff that's on there. How'd you grab my little? How'd you grab my little um, figure? It was in the. Like, it was the EPA. Oh, nice, nice. Way to go! Thank you. you guys are way ahead of me here. Okay, scroll down. Where where all that will go? Yeah. Scroll, 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 scroll. scroll. Right before those tables. Okay. Right here. Um, just above. Just above that paragraph. Right yeah. After that, somewhere in there. I like that. I like that a lot. And then let's put your. Um, References down here. What is the untapped solar cell reference? So, because we we'll just put tabbed. Gosh, these are these are real references, aren't they? Those are the um, end noters. This is um, ML Solar, 2014. Yeah, the 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 one we were working on last week. Yeah. For sure. That was a little earlier. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, already got that one. Yes, yeah, this, this probably needs a little work, but let's just let's just. Put it as a placeholder for now. It is so so beautiful. <laughs> I 
Where do you want it? Farmed it out. Please. Look, Hitler would have won World War II if he didn't try to micromanage everything. Really? Well, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, Hitler was a micromanager. Interesting. What? Um, how far did you ever get with that NSF grant? I'm just, I'm curious. Was, it was an NSF you were going after, right? It was a, was an American concept challenge. Oh, okay, it was okay. I could have, I could have rewrote it and resubmitted it, but I didn't want to at that moment. They asked me to. Oh. Because it wasn't, it was like, um, well, the showstopper, as Elizabeth said, was, I think, no Beth. Beth who? Beth Dodson. Oh, okay. Is it wasn't it wasn't a business model to you know, reinvent anything. It, it didn't have the um, the proper okay. You know we're gonna get the logs off of the mountain for this amount. We're gonna get it to the mill for this amount. We're gonna burn it for this amount. We're gonna pull through. All I was doing was summarizing everything by and saying, hey, look, you know, this is probably better to do it this way than this way and. Basically, with um, I was trying to retrofit the most updated power system in the world. With uh, I was going to combine a Siemens bio biomass, basically biomass burner uh, gasification system with a um, Hitachi turbine. The problem you're having is like the steam damp. You have the same problem with all, most of all of your biomass that you're using is the sulfurs. The sulfurs eat metals bad. Mm. And it not only eat it, it corrodes it, so it just stops functioning optimal. So you need to get sulfurs out of the gas. Um, and basically, the best way, see even natural gas has sulfur in it. But unlike the minimal amount of gas that you're producing with the biomass or the poop, basically, they, it takes a, one little, like a, a cube of the, um, the metal shavings and chunk-like stuff. You can either filter 100,000 cubic meters of natural gas or one cubic meter of natural gas. Either way, you can only do use it once. And once you've used it once, up once, once you quit pumping the gas through it, you're dead. You gotta re, re get that. Mm -hmm. So that's where the money's at. That's where the showstopper's at. What? In the filter? In the filter, the, the SO filter. Because if you can get the S, the sulfur filter out of it, if you could get the sulfur filter in a way that it would filter Continually at a, at a steady pace, so like you could you could use every municipal waste um, facility, like bio, like the the uh, poop dump over here behind Walmart. <laughs> you you can use you can use every one of those to create electricity because you're pumping methane basically. Yeah. The methane that you're burning out, most of what you're smelling over there is sulfur that's burned off too. So you can do that or the like the biomass, once you once you gasified it, you can run it through the filter and run the SO4 out of it. As you know, if you're if you're gonna run pure methane through it, you know, you're, you're good to go. So the difference between that is, is you know, you've got to use that on site wherever you want to do it. So. How do you like that? The softer side of the solar night. The 32 cell floret. Flower. 
You got to give somebody something to laugh at on this dang thing. Either way, it's going to come up. What what we have the package at a twenty by twenty. What do we call this? The energy graphic, energy bars. What's a good way to energy bars? <laughs> Eat this. <laughs> What's a good uh, name for this thing? It's good. Runtime comparison. Let's just call it runtime. It's all right. We, yeah, it's a play, it's a placeholder. Runtime comparison uh, for operating various um, fixtures, technologies, gadgets, components. No. Applications. I'm gonna I'm gonna run the toaster app. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Utilities? Appliances? Well, I, I want to say one, I just want to use one word. Maybe maybe just a, a, appliances and fixtures. Okay. I wouldn't use a fixture. I'd just use an appliance. But a, but a light bulb's not an appliance. So I, I would like to use one word, but... There we go. And we could we could also put a um, put the LEDs out here as running as running longer. We should put a laptop on there. So I'll put that in there. Um, add LED. Um, add laptop. I like that one. Okay. Can't swim. Find somebody else. <laughs> Make, I'm making making friends. What was the whole? I mean, we. Ha I thought you you did it in front of us. You said okay Friday, blah blah blah. I know, but he he would have he would have been so much smoother than I was going through all the time value money. I mean, he's got his little. He teaches that day in and day out. Okay, but my point is, is you invited him in front of all of us. I. You hit the return button right I did too. My email was just screwing up, and yeah, and I, I didn't, I did not get back to him quickly enough. He, he was, he was worried about Camtasia not working, and I didn't really assure him on that front either. The other guy found his anyway. Yeah, so they're they're there. We can see them. Yeah, and they're, they're they're quite good. I I would I would definitely go look at them. So what is this um, overall system schematic? So really what we need to do is um, add, um, well, we've got the detail of the box. It, it just needs a little more help. You know, it's, it's a scra scrabble together. I'll just, I'll just say that. So Adam, was this was this uh, part three data findings output? Was that supposed to be part of the narrative? Is that something you saw in the? That was just some Gary had been posted and said, "Hey, we could work on this part." Number three. Okay. Uh, That's fine. I don't. I don't think we need to have it in red then. Right. That was just more of a place. Good. Good. It, no, I. I think it should be. I. I haven't looked at it carefully enough. I don't mind going with 
12 point font. I kind of like making this this bold. Uh, needs to be redrawn. I'll put that in red. Um, and then let's go back and grab this other thing. You, know, it's all it's all your fault, man. Global warming is your oh. fault. You have to hear my reasoning out. Okay, let's hear it. People go in the bathroom to touch private parts. Some people don't wash their hands in the bathroom. Some people walk by that lighting fixture and flip it off. Uh -huh. So that's just like money. I don't want somebody to rub their junk. Well, so who, so who, I wash my hands. I'm walking by that lighting fixture thinking, well, I can turn it off, but I need a turn off stick. Just use your pocket. foot. Use your butt. Why I don't want to touch use your tongue. Touch your butt. But uh, so do you use your foot to turn it off on the way out? And pull the, my muscle in my leg, lifting my leg. Oh up. no. Is Honey. It, is it worth that to me? It's only three cents. Come on. <laughs> and you know I come in and said that just to get you for turning it off. Because if, if the um I was it, in there doing my business and yeah. you walked over and turned it off. And then you went back and got <laughs> Yeah. I, I can see that. That could be a health issue. I still issue. got my peanut butter in my bag. <laughs> it's probably nice and right now. It smells like dog poop. Oh, shoot, man. Um, Okay, so let's let's grab this thing too. Uh, I do I do enjoy the informal nature of our collaboration. But the wheels aren't big enough. I know. I so. That's why I've, I've got students to do all this for me. This could even be like figure one uh, B. What's this called? An exploded view? Of, of cart? Needs to be read. A system is more than just a cart. Oh, yeah. System packaging. Yeah. Uh, GFCI is the ground fault. What's the C stand for? Circular interrupter. Yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's right. Ground ground fault circuit interrupter. And uh, yeah, so charge controller in there too. I bet we could, but the one way, to, one way to verify that is to buy one off the shelf and then compare ours to the off the shelf. I, I think you have to do it by, you have to have some data. You can't just say, oh, it's better. And then really, that's, that's, that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. We're, we're going to become ANSI IREC approved next year. Yeah. It's a big deal. Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's Basically, do it. Basically, you've got um, what's that filament you have over on your wind turbine that you guys put together over there in the other classroom? That clear like stuff. What is it? Oh, in the wind turbine? Yeah. Yeah, that was, um, that was resin, fiberglass resin. That's basically all it is. With the inverters and the pathways wired into it. Yeah. Okay, there's our, uh, this will be our charge controller.
I brought in a little charge controller. Did you guys see that? ANSI is the, um, what do we got here though? This is like a, that goes on that bat that big old battery pack that we have in the other room. That's for our uh, lithium ion. So the, the, that's the, that is the board that tell that that's the charge controller for each board in series, each, each battery in series. That's a charge controller. Pretty much. Yep. Yep. For those lithium ions. I mean, it's a it's a component of it. it. It's it's every single battery has one of those. It's a it's a load leveler or a charge leveler. Here, so I'll, I'll just replace that. Paste, dink. What it's, what it's doing, it's, it's measuring, it's measuring the uh, voltage on its battery, and communicating that back to. Well, I don't think it's communicating that back to the to the main charge controller, but it's 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 comparing its voltage to its neighbors and saying if if I've got too much voltage here, I'm gonna I'm gonna send it out to the other batteries in the in the pack. Exploded view of system packaging needs to be redrawn. So GFCI, going to need a handle on there. All right, what else is going in? Did you say we need to look at your inverter too? Where is that? Is that, is that on the Moodle shell? I never opened up the NES stuff because my computer was backing up. Where is it? Budget. This one? Yeah, but I don't remember seeing an, an inverter in there. Oh, 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 yeah, we already had this open. Let me just close and that. The power inverter. The power. Get so much power. So this is Adams, right? We already put that in. Close that. Save that. Um, stupid thing. What happened? Well, I know I had it open here. Let's let's um, file. Uh, recent, recent, open. Was it this one? Yep. Now look, it won't open. It's so, so it there. I know, it's lame, man. It's down at the bottom, you just... It's it not, was, it wasn't. It was right there alongside of it when you closed it. It did something, it closed. See it? There's two yeah. down at the bottom. Oh, okay, yeah. This is the one I, this is the one I uh, changed. Power for, okay, so you want to go with this? This is the bottom. This is the bottom. This is all the way down. DX engineering, though. Oh. Okay, so that's all that come out. That's not cool. Did you have more on your... On well, your there was more on my original. Shoot. Should we... Are we keeping this thing up here, too, or...? I don't have to. This is the one... This is the one we already, we already grabbed, right? Hundred fifty watt. I actually had the oscillator and the transformer. Oh really? Yeah. Well, this is. Um, I'm kind of liking four hundred fifty watts a little bit better. Let's let's get a pair of these though too. Yeah. But in like 
Isn't 120 volts AC the kind of standard? Yeah, yeah, it is. And there are. Um, Well, he's talking volts, you're talking hertz. Um, and yeah, our standard is 60 hertz. European standard is 50, 50 hertz. And now, <clears throat> our, our, our standard at the, um, I thought this, I thought, um, I thought Savage covered this in 213. Probably yeah, because I, I think there's, there's a, um, I mean, you can't, Having, there's no such thing as exact anything, first of all. So um, the, 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 the lines are, are set to go somewhere, and I think Horvath talked about this too. The lines are set to be somewhere between 120 volts and 125 volts. As long as you're in that range, everything's happy. Um, but as soon as you do the, um, the RMS value, the root mean squared value, that 125 comes down to about 110. That, that's the difference. That's where you get your, one tw your 110. And there might, might be another way. That, that somewhere they're maybe splitting the difference because um, it's going to be 120 peak to peak, 110 RMS, and the 115 is like, okay, we don't care. Just split the difference. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to guess well, it doesn't. It doesn't say whether this, whether this 115 is peak to peak. Well, and then, well. Here's the other thing: is it's it's outputting a digital sine wave, and Andrew and I were seeing this too. And it's not it, it, it's it's not going to make like your Potter's wheel all that happy, uh, just to, to be honest, because it's like it's not it's um little 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 choppy coming out. Anyway, let's just get a couple of these. I'm forgetting an I, an electrician. No, an R. E like. What's wrong with that? Oh, there it is. I figure if I, if I just spam them enough, they're going to be like, just get the guy a credit card already. <laughs> okay. Um, guys, one other thing I wanted to show here is this, is this little doodad. This is um, the Lego Mindstorm connector and it's I think it's doing signal and power one two three let me see how many how many pins does it have this thing has six six pins and I think it must have well I, I, I think it's got positive negative and ground for power and maybe positive negative ground for signal I'm not I'm not sure but what I wanted to show you is is the end, see how the, see how the clip is modified? See this, this clip is over here on, on my right side, you know, look, looking from the cable side, this clip is on the right. So what they've done is made a new standard. It, it's, this is just, this is a, this is foam cord. It's not for two lines, but it's, for, it's, for, it's a three line foam cord that they offset the, the, the snap on. So all we do, that's how they got around the I think that's how they got around it, because it, it's, 
because this thing is so highly refined. This this thing has just evolved in, into what it is. And oh, sure. Um, yeah, I'll show you really quick. It's a little robotics kit for kids. Yeah. Or I mean, some of the stuff that comes out of this thing is amazing. Someone built a Rubik's cube solver with it to turn the cube with the like Lego monster. Does it have little lights inside? No. I haven't even got one of the balls out of the middle chamber. Anyway, it's just it's a it's a little um, deal like this. You can build humanoids, other little robots, but each one of these cables will run a motor, and they all so you've got four separate cables that plug into this main little programmable cube. And then you've got motors and gadgets and sensors that plug in with the with these little uh, cables. So it's got its own little yep. That yep. Exactly. And I'm, I'm guessing this is again that 24, 22 gauge wire. We've got data. Um, okay. So we we started doing our purchasing. What else do we need to buy to to build this thing? We've got charge control, we've got inverter, we've got plenty of solder, we've got lights. I think, I think we should have enough of that stuff in the lab. Oh, GFCI. We'll just buy the GFCIs at the hardware store. All right, so here's what I want to do with this thing. Um, save as. EPA. I'm going to call this um, uh, 071028. Save. And how about if I I'm just going to I'm going to drag these over like last time. Guys, thanks for doing all that work off offline. That's great. What else do we need for the area that we don't already have? You need the um, application 420. You need the budget justification. You need there's the abstract 12-page narrative. EPA P3 and RGY 250. Please ask someone other than me. Let's go find him and hug him. Just ask him if he needs a hug. Send him a care bear. <laughs> a care bear stare so we can give a shit. <laughs> where, was I, where was I putting these dang things? All over the place. What things? What do you mean? Well, the, the, the drafts of the... Uh, oh, 
Oh, we put it in. Down the bottom. It was in that discussion. EPA materials. No, it was, you had them in, because it was there, right there. EPA grant files. 14. I, got, I guess I got, I got two different things going here. I'll just stick it right there. That's the best place for it. Okay, system layout. I'll stick that in there. Whoopsies. Turn editing on. Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep this little thing going. Revised EPA grant. There we go. System layout. You can go there. Except you got to go up here. put you right up here. So I can put these here. You guys can only put things here. Does that make sense? Uh, narrative 428. You know, and um, Joe McCann is a main campus student. M maybe he's interested enough to, you know, put, put some time into this to get it funded too. Did you hear that, Joe? We're still recording? Yeah, we are. Well, I do know if you make a good power inverter, a better system than what they've got going on. Yeah. Google, you know, you know Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a professor on main campus, um, Quang Tran, who's trying to do that. He's got. A, he's he's designing a more reliable, more durable micro inverter. You know that that's where the, these panels are going. Each one has its own inverter. He's he's got a pretty good idea for one. He applied for one of these Montana business commercialization grants and, and did not get it. But okay, there it is. System layout uh, narrative. We got the phone resistivity. That should go in there. So. What, what's, the, what's the next step, uh, good, good thing to occupy you guys on this next? Because it sounds like we've, we've kind of got components coming in. Um, it'd be nice to start polishing the thing up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we kind of need to yeah, organize and polish the whole package, right? Yeah, so let's... let's uh, Why don't you pull up, um, go, go back to the yeah. Go to the grant files. Let's see grant files. Sure. Go to my first, very first, that's, we never looked at it. Bottom format for 12 page and everything. Oh, sweet. Uh, you guys cold here? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's stuff, cold. stuff stinks. Maybe it's on the, okay, there you go, one background. Okay, good. Okay, sweet. That's that's where that three Slower came from. Down, Perfect. Discussions, conclusions, and recommendations, and proposed phase two project description. Okay. Basically, that's when you go into full scale manufacturing. Mm -hmm. um, nice. Is there anything in that list that? Uh, so let, let's see here. So I'd like to sort of chop these six things up. Well, references, we'll be far around with that. Um, okay. I'm, 
I'm just wondering, I'm wondering the best the best place to keep. Should we just keep it in the Moodle shell and keep it active and just keep tossing it back and forth, or? Okay. Um, what about? Uh, so who 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 wants to do what then? Because it'd be good. It'd be good to just just polish it up. You know, take stuff that's um, kind of here, there, and everywhere, and and. I mean, it'd be great actually to have something we could just email a draft to Gladen on Wednesday afternoon and invite him here Friday. Paul? Yeah. So maybe, how, how about this? Um, do one of you guys would just want to own the whole document for the next 24 hours and then the other one for the following 24? Does that work or not? What's the what's the best way to do it? I mean, do you guys want to like take the next class and start polishing? Or is that too late? Well, no. I, I guess I guess what I'd like to do, like if 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 you want to polish it for the next day, and then you polish it for the next day, and then I or we polish it on Wednesday, that would be the optimal for me. So maybe you you know maybe you get it from now until. Tuesday at noon, then you get it from Tuesday at noon till Wednesday at, at nine, and then we all get it after that. And and what we could also do is just say, you know, say if you've got it for the next 24 hours, and there's something like, hey Brad, go check this, or you know, hey Adam, go check that. We can feed you little little chunks, but you've got the master document, and you're responsible for. Well, how about you just leave it on the little shell because you can pull it off the little shell. Yeah. Download it, put it in the edit mode, sure. do all my edits, yep. and then I'll throw it right back Perfect. to that yep. to tomorrow again. That sounds good. Is that and then you can take it from there, just hand the baton? That's how that's how these software well, you want to do it the other way. You want him to look at it first and then you look at it second. I don't know. Um, it doesn't matter. Why don't you go first? Is that is that good for timing, you know, for what else you got going? Why why don't you go first? Uh, if, if you uh, and I, I can bust through all the, the the figure numbering and all that crap pretty quickly. I, you know, I, I just bang all that. So don't don't worry about that too much. You can just you know put in some soft figure references. But it'd be nice to have these headings in there pretty firm. That's what I was going to do. Yeah, get those headings in firm. And you know if, if there's like something that belongs elsewhere, we just chunk it down there. Yeah, so if you're like, hey, gosh, this, this we're pretty soft on this one equation, or we could this figure needs to be redone. I mean, one thing that would make us strong, yeah. I think, the whole project itself, if we could get the upcycle price of aluminum and plastics, if we could put that in there. Okay. All we need to do is, Good. To, for the plastics to upcycle them, all we need to do is melt them down and put them in a sheet for now. I mean, just... Oh. Plastics and make like a sheet. Like the yeah, the big sh the four by eight sheets of plastic. Yeah. Little you know so thick quarter inch thick four like by eight that. sheets of plastic. If we could get that, um, what it's going to cost to upcycle the aluminum, you know. Yep.